Okay, so I was supposed to speak to you at about one o'clock and I it fell off the wagon completely. I thought the system wasn't working, but it was. And um, so I stopped it, then I re-recorded it, and then that one disappeared and I decided. Okay, I'm hearing some feedback there. There we go. So I was hearing myself in the delayed version there. Anyway, so I am now one talking with, I don't know if there's anybody here right now. And if, if you do, you can put your name in the chat or comment, feel free to comment. And um, I'm going to share this amazing story that something that happened to me a couple of years ago already of what Buffalo taught me about security and safety, especially. So this was in about 2006. I just watched the movie, The Secret. And that very night, we had an attempt to break in. They broke through a section of the wall and came into the garden, but then the alarm went off and they ran off. So not, they didn't take anything. But, after that, I was thinking, because in the movie, The Secret, they said, everything that happens in you, you've attracted it. And I'm going like, well, why would I want to attract a, um, an attempted burglary? So as I was sitting there thinking about it, I realized I've attracted it because we were going to go on holiday. This was in, in November, and in a few weeks' time, we were going to go on holiday. And my husband did not want to get a house sitter. And now that we had this attempt at burglary, he was happy to get the house. So that made sense to me. The next day, I had to fix the wall that they had broken. And miraculously, I found some panels lying in somebody's yard. And while I was putting it all together, I had this amazing, strong feeling of writing on the outside of the wall, Jesus loves you. Now, this is not something I would normally do. I, um, you know, I, I'm not somebody that will talk about how, what I do personally in my spiritual life to other people. I feel we feel free to believe what we want to believe. But it was so strong, so I did. And Normally, you hear about when a person will try to break in, they'll come back and back until they get in and until they've got something, they've managed to steal something. So writing it on the wall made perfect sense because if they're coming back, then I know, you know, they would see this thing of, you know, there's somebody that loves you, nobody's angry with you. And at the same time, I was claiming our property you know, under the protection of the divine. By this, so this happened on Thursday, and the weekend on Saturday, my husband and I went to a private game reserve for a wedding. The wedding was Saturday, and Sunday morning, I woke up early, and I was ready to go for a walk. It was warm, because November for us is warm, so I just had a, like a, a vest on without sleeves and short pants, left the phone in the room and went. And I was thinking, this is a private game reserve. I knew there were no big cats or anything there, so I felt safe. And I thought, yeah, that would be nice to see some animals. And as I said that, there was this hare hopping along. And then I saw another one and another one. And I was thinking, Hmm, I've seen three of you. I'm going to look you up in a book that I have at home. Because the American Indians believe that if an animal crosses your path, they have a message for you. But then I thought it would be nice to see some bigger animals. So I keep on walking and all of a sudden I feel this urge to go up this little hill. And as I get to the top, there was a herd of impala. The impala is a type of buck. And as soon as they saw me, they just ran. It was beautiful. They ran down the hill and they were jumping like a wave over the, the shrubs that were there down below. And as I was standing there, I thought, 
hmm, wouldn't it be amazing to see some bigger animals that don't run away? I didn't think anything of that thought, and I went back down to the road. And as I'm walking along, I get to a fork in the road, I look right, there's nothing, and I look left, and I see buffalo. Not right there, they were about 50 meters uh, away, but I knew that buffalo are some of the most dangerous animals to come across. And if they charge you, they are the most deadly, more deadly than a lion or a, um, a rhino or an elephant. So of the big five, they are the most dangerous to be charged by. So I said to them, oh, you know, great to see you there. I'm going to go to my right so uh, and pretend I didn't see you. And you're going to go that way and pretend you didn't see me. And then hopefully, you know, we'll be all safe. But they didn't keep the end of the bargain. They started following me. And as I'm walking along, at, thank goodness at a safe distance of about five, 50 meters, I keep on looking over my shoulder, seeing these uh, buffalo, but we're in a dense bush area, and um, there were shrubs with, with thorns this long, and you couldn't climb that, so I was a bit nervous. And next time I look around and they stop following me, so I was so relieved. I keep on walking, and now my chickens have walked in, so if you hear some background noises, then you know what that is. So, um, I keep on walking and I'll come to a nice grass uh, open area. And as I'm walking there, all of a sudden, I hear this trampling of hooves behind me. I turn around and there are 13 buffalo running straight for me. There was nowhere to hide, no bush to climb into or hide behind. So all I could do was turn around, I faced them. And I prayed as if I would put a minister out of a job. And there they stopped. Miraculously, they stopped at about five meters distance from me. And there was a bull with his cows and calves. And the calves came really close. And then the bull wanted to come even closer. Now, that bull had a nose like this with snot and hair sticking out. And the idea of having that snotty nose up against my bare skin and my bare arm was too much. So again, I told him to stop in the name of the tribe. And he did. Now I'm chatting to them while my knees are shaking uncontrollably. I'm saying, oh, you have such a nice family. I also have a nice family. I would love to see my family again. Do you know my way home? And um, I'm chatting away, chatting away. And then they buggered off. Now, I thought, you went that way, so I'm going the opposite direction. But as I'm walking in the opposite direction, I realized I'm lost. I can't see the chalets. I can't see the main area. So I was lost. And then I remembered that I asked them if they knew my way home. So all I could do was turn around and follow those buffalo at a safe distance, of course and follow them, and within two minutes, there were the shellings. I said, thank you very much, and I ran to the shell. That evening, when I got home, I looked up rabbit, because that's the closest to hair that we have, and um, it said, don't be afraid. Now, remember, this is now three days, four days after the attempted burglary. And it said, don't be afraid. I thought, that's a nice message. Let me look up buck. So I look up the buck and it says, do things the gentle way. So don't go and, so how I saw that was, don't go and arm yourself to the teeth and get more security and fences and whatever. Do it the gentle way. Okay, that's interesting. And then my husband said, but what about buffalo? And I didn't think of buffalo because our buffaloes, the African buffalo, is very different to the American Indian buffalo. And I look up buffalo and it said, rely on the power of prayer. And that was so spot on because that is exactly what I did in that moment when they came, to, you know, running for me. But also by writing that message on the wall, 
I basically relied on the power of prayer to keep me safe. Now, why is this relevant nowadays? It's that it is all about like attracts alike. I'm not going to go into the argument if opposite attracts. There's always also a like attracts alike. So fear attracts fear. So when we are in a fear mode, we attract people that come from fear. And there's research done on it that the criminals choose their victims, not randomly, they, they, they sense their vibration. And if it is a vibrational match, then they will go over to the next step. But if we are on a love vibration, a, um, a vibrational mismatch, and then we will be way more safe. Now, I have taken this relying on the power of prayer on a different level. See, I've got this amazing app called Affirmations. And if you go to my website there, you can see above my head, you can go there and go to the Affirmations app and you can see what affirmations we have. We have free ones and we have some paid ones. Now in the paid version, we they include the atmosphere affirmations and it is as if you're spraying prayer softly in your room and it changes the energy in the room. For example, I had a friend of mine, she had a room that she couldn't go in there for more than a minute because the atmosphere was just so horrible. And she played the app in there for a few days and then she could go in and clean the whole room out. It had changed the energy in that room so much. Other people have used that app and um, since they used it, the crime in their, in their house and the problems with alarms going off went down. But we have other affirmations too. And I'm not going to talk too much about all of those. You can go and read about it. It is amazing. Now, I have kept my birthday a secret for most people. I'm very quiet about my birthday, but it is my birthday today. And I decided I want to give you a gift. For those of you that are interested in the affirmations, you, if you sign up for the subscription, you will get a 20% discount on your affirmation subscription for as long as you are a member. You can um, end the subscription at any time. Um, so it's on a month to month basis. So yes, and that I was going to make that. Um, oh, I've, so there is a promo code for that. The promo code is birthday. So you're going to have to put birthday as the promo code to get your 20% discount. Now I will make that promo code available till the 27th of July, 2021. For those of you that want to make, take me up on my offer. In the meantime, we want to stay safe. And especially in South Africa, that is very relevant. So you can rely on the power of prayer. If you feel uncomfortable, pray for the people around you. Pray for yourself for protection. Put a bubble of love around all the people that you care for. And that is how you can raise your vibration and their vibration and keep them safe. So see you next time. At least I now have got a better understanding of the technology. Who knows when I'll get the Facebook Live going on the time that I said to be it to do. But I decided, you know, it's like falling off a horse. If you don't get on straight away again, then uh, you'll never get on again. And so I fell off my Facebook Live session earlier and I decided I'm going to do it again. And that's what I've done. You know, if there's anybody that um, wants to respond even after this, uh, that I've finished with this. I'd love to hear from you. I would love to you to share your thoughts on what I've shared with you. And if you have any uh, questions on Facebook Live that you want me to talk about in future Facebook Lives, let me know and I will do my best to talk about that. Well, thank you all for being there with me and um, see you soon.